All right, guys, we're going to do the smokestack, which introduces the revolve command, which you're also going to use on the hitch peg and linkage peg. So to start, I'm in a new part file. I'm going to go home, of course. Origin, for this one, I'm going to draw on the front plane, which is XY, create 2D sketch. As I'm looking at the drawing, I'm only going to draw half of it. I'm also going to ignore the hole that's on top of it because you guys should know by now that since it has a U next to it, that's just a hole with a counter bore. So I'm going to outline the general shape of half of this thing. Okay. And when you're dimensioning something like this that has kind of irregular edges, start with the biggest dimension first. Otherwise, it may collapse on top of itself and cause you all kinds of headaches. And this guy to this point, which is actually that big radius, I mean that big diameter that's 1.25. The height to that is 1.5. This guy down here on your sheet, it tells you it has a diameter of 0.5, but we're only drawing half, so that's 0.25. The height here is 0.25. From this center line to this corner is half of 1.25, which is that big uh, diameter. Okay, and then the last thing I have to do is I'm going to draw a line from this point straight up, and I'm going to dimension from that line to that line, and see it gives me an angle reading, and I'm going to put in 15 degrees. That's what this thing should look like before you go to revolve it. Hit escape, click on the line you drew to do the angle, and delete it. Okay, it will take away the dimension, that's fine, as long as you don't change any other dimensions. So now I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to click on revolve. I'm going to click the profile I want, and then I'm going to select the axis I want. Tell it OK. And there's the outline of the smokestack. So the next thing I have to do with the smokestack is I need to put the hole that goes through it. So I'm going to click on hole. But I'm going to do something a little different this time. Because all of these circles share a center, I'm going to change placement to concentric. I'm going to select the plane. I know that this is a counter bore because the uh, measurement has a U next to it. The measurement of the counter bore is 0.875. It is... 0.375 deep. The measurement of the entire hole is 1.5 deep. And the diameter of the little hole is 0.375. I'm going to click concentric reference and I'm just going to click this outside circle. And now notice that they all line up on the same center. Tell it OK. And there is your smokestack. So at the bottom of the paper it says chamfer bottom edge 0.01 uh, you guys can just ignore that. Um, one other thing, when you guys go and do the hitch magnet, hitch magnet should be easy, hitch peg and linkage peg, it has a, a measurement on there that says SR, that means spherical radius. You cannot measure a spherical radius in a 2D sketch, that is a 3D call out. So just ignore that. If you get all of the other dimensions correct, it will work. Okay, so there you go.